Watch this bird the right way. <laughs> That's good. Sometimes you will speak a word of truth into somebody, and we'll talk about these gifts more next week. But you'll speak a word of truth into somebody, and God will give you a sense of peace and joy at being used of God. All right? We'll give you one second to ask questions, and then we're going to go to prayer. Yes, Carl. So, so if you get, if you hear a scripture, mm -hmm. that, because I heard it, I got it one morning, and, and I'm thinking something else because it was a scripture that I got. This is what I heard with Jeremiah right now. Well, my brother don't know what I'm doing. I'm thinking, 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 I'm There you go. 
go. Did you hear that? I know the plans I have for you that are to prosper you. How many of you like to prosper? Right. Anybody got a problem with prosper? Because I've got plans to prosper you. You're going to increase. You know, in that passage in Deuteronomy, I read Sunday. He said, I place before you a blessing and cursing. I give you life and death. Choose life. And in me, you're going to continue to increase. And that has been in my spirit. If we walk in the Spirit of God, He will continue to increase. We don't have to fear God. We don't have to fear the working of God in us. He will do a great work. He will minister to needs. And you won't have to be ashamed of it. Amen? Amen. Alright, we've got to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, Jennifer called before service and asked us to remember her grandson. And uh, I, I told her that we would remember him when we went to prayer. Who else has prayer requests? Brother is having her a procedure tomorrow to take some skin cancer off his nose. All right, Randy's brother, Les. Uh, Caleb and Jordan both asked for prayer requests for their grandfather, and uh, Jacob asked for prayer requests for his mom. Let's remember these requests. All right. Yeah, Caleb Lewis, this is the family I was with this last weekend. Yeah, it's uh, here's a family that's lost. The mother, the daughter, the stepbrother, it's a whole, whole thing. It, it, well, one of the firemen was Wesley, my, my son's best friend. He did CPR on a four and a half year old, and he has, it has really affected him. So let's pray for those firemen, those people that go in and take those bodies out of there until you've seen and gone through that. You have no idea what those guys are suffering through. Let's remember them. Also, my son, uh, Ryan, uh, went today and had an MRI done and uh, he has two bulging discs and, and he won't stop long enough for even begin to heal and they're going to try to figure out if they can do whatever without surgery. So y'all y'all pray for Ryan. Mary? Just a little under the weather. Alright, so remember Mike? Uh, praise the Lord. Well, I got <laughs> can, can we share that testimony with these with these? Sure. Look, Carol Carol Ann's nurse and uh, hold on. Okay. And and Mike, of course, they, they came here in April. And I believe they were an answer to prayer. Recently, Carol as a nurse was diagnosed with hepatitis C. And so, when you're in nursing and you've got hepatitis C, there are a lot of questions for that. Well, we have prayer service here, and we pray for her. And within a week or ten days or something, they came back and said, no, you don't have hepatitis C, you have lupus. They're testing, They're testing for lupus, but that's what they call it. Well, now they've come back and said, you yeah, know, you don't have anything. You're okay. We, we, we don't know what's caused your problem, but it's not lupus and it's not hepatitis C. And it has been a definite testimony to the family as to the miracle power of God. And I want to thank God because she needed that right here. She needed a real strength, didn't she, Mike? Uh, you know, Mike and I agreed to pray. She didn't want to tell the kids because she didn't want to get them upset. And so then... They got worried because we wanted to pray and, and some things, and we did pray. And then when she finally told them they, that you know that it was kind of shocking, to them. God has done the work and, and continues to do it. And I'm thankful for it. Now, well, that just thrills me uh, to know me. And God is doing a good work in Mike and with Carol, and it's a healing work. And this is what God promised us to do. Amen. Amen. All right, let's stand together, and go to the Lord in prayer. Let's believe God for a miracle. Heavenly Father, we come into your presence tonight with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Lord, your word is truth. 
your, 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 your spirit is so real. I thank you that you're speaking into people's hearts and their minds and, 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 and into their spirits, Lord. I pray, God, that with, where there's a question or where there's a hardship or where there's a hurt or where there's a, a, a question, Lord, you begin to answer that thing by the, by the very gift of the Holy Spirit that you have given us that you would begin to speak into these people. God, that you would take away the restraint, that you would take away the restriction so that this people could begin to rejoice in the Spirit. They could begin to respond in the Spirit in a powerful, awesome way. Father God, you are God and you are worthy of our praise. We praise you out loud. Come on, church, I want you to praise him out loud. I want you to begin to tell him how much you love him out loud. Don't be afraid to hear yourself say it. Father, I thank you tonight because you're working on these young people, sir lives and in these kids, families of mothers and grandpas that need prayer. God, you're touching them. Lord, for these that have, have come to you seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Ghost, God, you unleash it into these people. Thank you for the testimonies and the work of the ministry that you are doing, Lord. Give us greater boldness. Give us greater sense of courage. Give us a greater sense of power, Lord, that we might overcome the work of the enemy. Lord, I pray for Jennifer's grandson. I pray you minister to that need. I pray for this church that you pour out your spirit in an awesome, powerful way. And I ask it in the lovely name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Love somebody in the Lord. Let them know you're glad. Hey, boys. They're here.